the beginning? Yeah. Well, Oscar's steering. I'm not, I, I got no responsibility. That's fast. Four miles an hour. Wow. So uh, Chris Fasty's got his Delta flying nicely here. I managed to lose the uh, spar at the ferrule. Half of it went down and it does not float. So a foot till we rig an alternative plan B. Get the drogue stuck in the water. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to deal with a 12 foot bridle off that thing. So the problem is in the water, kites like going upside down. It shoots straight to the bottom. Well, I brought flippers and a mask, so we have that contingency. We're not sure. Uh, we're not sure, but I, in this water, I really don't feel like diving for it. <laughs> yeah. We were like. Yeah. <laughs> this reports that, well, it's flying nicely, it's marginal in terms of lifts. In terms of being able to attach a camera. Do we have a, third, a 21 gun salute? <laughs> We've timed the target. We're on the target, sorry. I can't give you much. What are you looking for? <laughs> what is that stuff you're using like the, for clear balloons? Heptax? Heptax. Just make a Heptax window in your Tyvek sail. Heptax, you can see through it. Yeah, a lot of those sails are actually made out of PET film, which is a bit... The Heptax is just laminated to PET. We're talking about making a Tyvek one and then making a window or something? Oh yeah, that would work. Scott, you can see if you can find a hole. Sell this uh, polyethylene uh, sheeting for. So every one of these cones where they can get in, but they can't get out. But you put rotting fish or whatever in there. I've set those up. Is that a fishing license or a permit kind of a thing to be able to allow be allowed to set them? You could run ten traps in a standard saltwater fishing permit. Okay. But you know, this is probably a commercial mm. license. We're headed right towards it, so we can yeah. turn. Not towards Scott though, probably. There's a crab crab trap trap buoy. Okay, we got it. It's diving. What is it? There's something diving, right? Like we didn't see anything go in, but there's this constant. It's the crocodile. It wants an alligator. <laughs> nice boots, Jeff. I just noticed them. Chris <laughs> has the same ones. He brought them too. All right. I have a matching set of uh, hip waders too. Same color.
Okay, so that's what that is, is an oyster reef, that white patch? Yeah, it's just a little one. Uh-huh. You can see the, you know, the tide isn't very big, but you can see the mud line in the grass. You know, yeah. And that's pretty much how much tide we get. <laughs> so when you, when you do the mapping for these areas, what have you been flying? Balloons or kites or? Uh, balloons. Uh-huh. Um, no problem getting helium? Uh huh. Yeah, that could be a problem. <laughs> but it's available. Yeah. And you can see when we do this area, we're, there's very few concerns about obstruction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty much. What altitude have you typically been mapping, or does it vary a lot depending on the. focus on sites that are going to be restored. Uh -huh. I mean, I wasn't part of the oil. Right. Uh, I wasn't part of that survey, but uh, I mean, that's another category. Very, very similar habitat to this, but, you know, oil came in and kind of soiled the first, you know, three meters yeah. in. Yeah. So those, the, the marsh kind of acted like a cone. Right, right up. Washed in. And the water went further than the oil did. But, uh, you know, the, those those stems kind of like strain the oil yeah. out and it forms these mats. Got it. Uh, and the other thing, too, is storms in Louisiana kick up a lot of sediment. And so, you had that one big tropical storm after BP or during the whole BP business and uh so that storm pushed a lot of oil into the marsh and immediately covered it with, with sediment and mud yeah, yeah got it so fast forward two years later we get hurricane isaac which is a really slow churning storm and it kicked up a lot of that buried oil just uncovered it and put it just re, re remobilized it yeah right so we saw liquid stuff you know just so when you're when you're mapping these days for it, what what elevations do you find useful? What altitude would you typically be flying? Probably pretty low. <laughs> um, just because again, there's no construction uh -huh. and no. Got it. Like that so we're trying to get, and I've I've been trying to get really good imagery to try to tell species. I'm mm -hmm. still learning my species. Got it. From the photo, so yeah, that's neat. Get like the highest I can. Um, so like 300, 500 feet. Mm -hmm. um, so Chris, what's the tug on that line feel like? You got enough lift? Uh, not. Hmm. A little one. Yeah. But this wind is not just going to die. Yeah. I'm so, not really used to the fact that it's stable, it's right? It's just not going to get calm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Which, in your environments, you've had that happen, right? Oh, yeah. oh, Running, yeah. uh, chasing. I have a wind window, and it might only be 20 minutes long. You know? Yeah. 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 But this I mean, is. The wind could be windy bring all day, but you could just get 10 minutes with, with a little lull. Yeah. 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 Back up. Exactly. Sorry. Let me push off. It's not. Yeah. We've got a radio reporter here. Yeah, so you want to say something into the little radio machine? <laughs> We'll come along port side. Man in the radio. <laughs> causing, causing chaos. So it's a radio. It's a radio storm jam. Is that what it is? Oh, oh man! Can you the <laughs> Here we are. Uh, you know. Well, Chris, I didn't bring any Plan Bs, like a simple juice bottle rig and one camera to throw into continuous mode and just drag up there. I just got the, the full kit. Yeah, that's got a little truck's rig with one camera on it. Ah. What we had last night, but I have a $50 camera. So we're okay. Yeah, we're going to try and get the Plan Bs for the Plan Bs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And also because you know. it has a waterproof box, yeah? Yeah, and because if it doesn't lift the GoPro, no biggie. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing, guys? We'll get it up another day, though. Uh, the, the method by which you get really cheap aerial a cheap digital camera, one of these I was looking, Matthew, in the chat room that you sent the email about, and Jeff was line by line transmitting Scott and others little chats there at lunchtime, after lunch. Yeah. Keep it going. Unfortunately, I don't think we actually got the proper data out to people who wanted to get on their own ISP client. Hmm. We have to use our web client. Oh, okay. Wow. It's been on the whole time, but I can't swear. Oh, it's just off again, so that answered. Join our little raft here? Oh, the float plan? Yeah. Oh, okay. The what, what? The float plan. What about it? Like at the front desk, you know? What, what about, about it? it? Well, it said we'll be back at 3. What time is it? Yeah, but it's okay. It's 2.40. Oh, okay, we should go we back should then. Alright. Float plan says we gotta turn around. Oh. Well, one person could go back. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can make a loop. We're almost there. We can make a loop. Yeah, Alright. Okay. Yeah. Right, Looping it shall be. Oops. Are we trying to get... Are we splitting up again? Uh, we're we, we, we're uh, taking over our rear admiral position once again. Mm. Yeah, we formed like Voltron and now we're done. There you go. That was pretty impressive though. I think the other boats scattered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were definitely terrified. They just weren't ready for this. I'm sure of you that this is a here redlined, huh? Should uh, aftermarket that thing with a cam and some full reef circulating bike pedals, you know? Probably double your efficiency. Now that we're lying in wait here, tape rolling, <laughs> video rolling. Maybe you got it's, it's, it's quarry. Yeah, it could be. I couldn't see the form factor of it. I just saw the, the streak and the splash. I don't know if it's a little, I guess it's a little. There it went again. Get it? I don't think I did. I think I was to the left of it when it came up. Yeah, it looked like a six inch fish or something. Huh. I caught a good look at it the second time. So the quad top is just out of line. 